Hey yo, what up? Welcome to Black Savage Entertainment. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and turn your notification bell on. Yo, Wack 100, he went off defending P. Diddy, man, after the stage on Clubhouse kept drawing their conclusions that Diddy was innocent on sex trafficking and all the other crimes that he's alleged of in this new lawsuit by Lil Rod. So I'm gonna play the content, man. Let y'all get to it, man. Let's get it. What I'm trying to ask you is. Is it real solid proof that he was sex trafficking? Because that's a big ass allegation. Nah, but hold on, though, KS. You just said some shit that, that ain't right, though. You just said, young Miami ain't got millions of dollars to sex traffic. You don't need millions of dollars to sex traffic. I know, I know that. I'm talking about, like, on the scale they saying he was doing it. Like, if you look at the lawsuit, right, for instance. From, from uh, Miami Lil to New York, you know them tickets ain't nothing about $150 on, right, on right, the plane, right? But, right, but, bro, he go overseas, too. He go... He leave the, the United States too a lot too. Like you see his plane was just flying to Antigua and shit. And her cousin and my and Miami's cousin was on the plane and shit. So what I'm trying to say to you is you paint the picture of it. You got little Rob. You got multiple people saying this shit, and little Rob is corroborating this this story. You got Gene Dale saying this. You got uh Cassie kind of somewhat mirroring it. Gene in her Dale lawsuit. ain't never say Diddy was sex trafficking. He did not No, say not that. sex trafficking, but I'm saying, listen, listen what I'm saying. They they um corroborated the stories. That little Rob ended up telling. And Lil Rob is the most recent because he talked about in his lawsuit, he worked on the Love album. So if his story is, oh, this bottle's laced, uh, it's, it's fucking maids and everybody in Diddy House walking around with the fucking Tootsie, which is the fucking cocaine, which was the ecstasy. And then you go back to Gene Dale, he like, yeah, they used to lace bottles, he keeps drugs around. You get what I'm saying? Like everything started to line up, even the sexual acts and him having a freak off. Every, all three of these people mentioned freak offs in some way, shape, or form. All three of these people can't be lying on you. And it's over a different time span. Gene Dell been with you since back in the day. Cassie been with you since mid 2000s. And this fucking Lil Rob dude just came around during the love album. Lil Rob credibility is shot though, bro. A lot of stuff he said has been proven to be lies though. That's the only thing mm -hmm. that's gonna hurt Lil Rob, bro. A lot of shit he done said has been proven to be fucking lies. Man, all these motherfuckers include. Do you think Gene Dell squeaky clean? Bitch, you was in security for some odd years. You was over here. Fucking nah, know, know, entertainment and shit too. Mark Curry too. Oh, y'all be talking out y'all ass sometimes. That's what I was asking. That's what I'm asking. Is I know Gene personally. That's K Slate family. He got K Slate daughter right now. Me and Gene rock many moves. Gene was just security. That's like, that's exactly what Gene was. Gene was, Gene was security. Gene was security, a probation officer. I was licensed to have a firearm in the state of fucking New York. Now, is he Gene B? I seen some shit he said the other day talking about mates, 200,000. Oh, you don't want it? Gene, you was not privy to those meetings. You're outside the door. You're not in the door. Like, that's, that's what would be crazy. I'd be like, yo, Gene, you just talking out your ass. He know niggas gonna listen. That nigga said, yeah, he did my $200,000 pub deal with mates he like oh you writing for niggas and ain't claiming it how i'm gonna get paid he don't even know i'm publishing work gene talking out his ass nah he definitely right? he Any definitely motherfucking don't. album gene that mates dropped and all that puffy clean it up 200 he cleaned that shit up half the album already so what the fuck are you talking about nigga uh biggie could die Pac could die everybody could die to get my 200 back you don't even make sense Nigga, he make more money with Biggie being there dropping albums, nigga, than the nigga dead. The estate gonna get in the business then. Like, Gene was nothing but security, got mad because he wanted Puff to pay for a nigga funeral, and Puff wouldn't do it. Ever since then, Gene went on a, a rampage, bro. Gene's regular ass dude, bro. So, what I'm at, like I was asking, Gene loving this shit right now, though. Gene so, loving this shit. So, is it any proof that he's sex trafficking little girls? Fuck no. Come on, okay. where'd that come from? That's what they keep saying that he's sex trafficking little girls and shit. Who like, keeps saying people? who? Like, that's the narrative that's being painted. He's sex trafficking. The little girls came out. Did they come out and say, no, I was a little the, girl and I'm this the, age now? Well, in the lawsuit, in the little Rob lawsuit, they got pictures. Of Diddy and his son with Lil Rob, with what it looks like to be teenagers. But around. those girls came out and said that they are not underage, They're bro. Not underage, a lot of bro. shit. Oh, a lot of shit that was in Lil Rob. Shit is lies, bro. Yo, Paris, from the trenches. Paris looked like she about 16, 17, bro. Paris, 23, 24. 
What the fuck are y'all talking about? Did the girls come out and say, I'm 24 now and he was fucking me when I was 15, 16? Yeah, I think they if just not, added, bro, I think they just the added shit up. on that man, Lane, because they just trying to, like, that shit be weird, though. Like, and y'all can't take shit that's in lawsuits as facts, bro. This shit ain't been to court. This is just the complaint. This is what the, the, the nigga who filed in the lawsuit is saying, bro. This just shit that he's making up. A lot of it, bro. Everybody can't be lying. And that's why I'm not, I'm not trying to defend Diddy or nothing like that, but where does outrage be like when like shit like when a nigga had came out and said he fucked all these women and he had HIV? Why nobody made a big like that shit be crazy, but they all like Diddy, Diddy, he did like all this shit. They don't make a big deal out of nothing when the white folks if I'm just smeared up, cause yeah. This is a smear campaign going on right now, bro. They attacking Diddy for a reason, bro. That reason, I believe, me personally, got something to do with him suing that company Diageo. You gotta look into what Diageo is and who they connected to and shit like that, bro. Like that's a powerful ass. Wait, wait so it goes. Tried to sue, bro. So you not thinking? You don't think two can, two things can be true? You don't think this nigga could be a fucking sex trafficking sexual? I don't. Deviant, I don't. I don't think he's a sex trafficker. Do, 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 do I think? And, did, and do I think, he could have think he's done something wrong? The button on him? Yeah, I think he did. He has done some wrong, bro. But all the shit they're alleging about him, I don't think most of it. I don't think is true, bro. Some of it, yeah, I think some of it is true, bro. But most of it, I, I don't think it's true. Think he most is. of it, I think, is the smear campaign, bro. Because he went at these folks, this Diageo shit, bro. That's what I believe, bro. KS, I definitely think he a sexual deviant. But what nigga, all these rich niggas be having multiple bitches and fucking multiple bitches. It's like, is it a crime to have multiple bitches fucking and sucking and doing all this at these wild parts? I mean, it's like, y'all don't got no proof that he's doing nothing. But the that's shit like, don't look normal. I mean, like, you got all these lawsuits, you got all these accusations, and then the feds raid your homes. That's like that's different. That's really different. That's not no normal shit. So I know he's like, doing. Not, I know he got some shit not on coming his to name. play around with this nigga. They got some. Oh, evidence. I know, but I, I know he doing some shit. But it's just like, damn, they just like I don't know, bro. Like they just adding more shit on top of more shit. Then they got a little girl, a little white girl saying he abducted the little girl and turned that into another shit. I'm just like, this shit is crazy. This shit is. But the thing is, it's, it's, it's like it's not out of the ghost. Country. Come on, ghost. You got the firepower. This nigga right here talking out his ass. He said you doing all this in the fair raid your home. Ghost, you got the content. Whack was the content. They raided my house too, right? Fetch. Did I go to jail? Did they not raid me because a nigga lied, 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 snitched on me, made up some shit? Come on, ghost. Talk to him. Just because the fans rage, you don't mean you did nothing, nigga. Ghost, y'all ran it on whack. Y'all ran to work. You had a whack nigga go make up a story that I'm moving keys of cocaine on my truck, nigga. Made up some shit. They spent 400000 investigating me for nine months. 40 agents raided my house. Walked out empty-handed. What the fuck that mean because they raid, nigga? Hey, that's real shit, bro. That's real shit. But it's not just simply nah, just because they raid it don't mean a nigga bro, guilty, bro. It's the that don't mean a nigga guilty, bro. Shadowing of the raid. We can what say that. Okay, like whack. You could compare that situation if niggas had been on you for years. I'm talking decades, saying that oh, you's a piece of shit and. Fucking more than one woman. I'm guilty of it. Just cause you ain't boss enough and that ain't your lifestyle. Don't mean there's something wrong with it, nigga. What I'm saying is, it's an ill comparison. Because it's not like niggas were saying for years, oh yeah, Wack got keys. Wack been moving keys. And then you got lawsuits Look, bro, you, you can't make the you, can't, pop up. you can't try to make those two parallel, bro, just because the feds raided him. That means something wrong. Like, he did some shit, bro. Like, you you, you just worsted the crackers if you feeling like that, bro. It's supposed to be innocent to proven guilty, bro. I could say that niggas convicted him. Niggas convicted him already, niggas bro. Niggas wasn't saying he been doing this. I could say that, ghost. If they have but look, 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 check this out, bro. They've been saying this for the last two decades. Now this shit comes right now after he get into this shit with this big ass liquor company who got ties to all type of shit, bro. Like, you don't think it's a reason behind this uh, shit? Why we, he never been charged keep, before, bro? We keep going there, but that's not really the start. The start of it is the Cassie lawsuit, which he settled out. Where do you think the Cassie lawsuit came from, though, bro? Why Why do you think she decided to do that out the blue, bro? After all this time she been with Diddy, you think she just thought about this that day and was like, was fuck it, I'm going to go do a lawsuit? She was or you think she had some, some money? Uh, or you think she had some people in her ear who was telling her to go do that shit? Mm. 
That'd be true. Nigga, a lot of this shit got to do with that liquor company, bro. Everything started going downhill for Diddy right after he sued them people, bro. Nah, I believe you is right about that, Ghost. Just because, you know, they come raiding and all this shit don't automatically mean it's true. But don't automatically mean it's not true neither, though. Feel me? So, like you said, that's innocent until proven get to. Hey, can you change your PTR, please? Thanks. <laughs> nope. You so. Hey, I didn't go track the nigga down talking about him. I'm not doing that, but I will wear this motherfucker because this is hilarious. Respect me, man. <laughs> <laughs> But nah, I feel y'all. I don't think he. I, to be honest, bro, let's let's put it on a scale of like 100. percent I think he like maybe did like 50 percent of the shit they accused him of. Y'all nigga ain't did not, bro. Listen, I don't bro. Think so. so let me get this right. You find a nigga guilty of fucking bitches and having a man suck his dick and want to suck his dick, bro. So if that's the case, nigga, let's start locking up everybody from the community. Preface. As long as both parties was with it. How, what he guilty of, bro? What the fuck are y'all talking about? Fuck it, let's talk. Hey, they need to serve a federal something against every motherfucking body part of the community. <laughs> I'm confused, bro. I'm confused, bro, because you niggas just saying, because he got women. We got women. He's sex trafficking. Hey, check this out, bro. If you can foot that bill, and they like you and you like them, and it's the understanding, there's no force, there's no none of that, where the fuck is the crime? Where is that? I agree. Where the fuck is the crime? Because the nigga, like, what you mean? That's the lifestyle? Ain't them niggas said nothing about motherfucker. You have to run in the motherfucking Playboy mansion. And he oh God! Nigga, it was thirty bitches women for years, bro. Times. Hold on, bro. It was thirty women at all times in the Playboy Mansion, living. We ain't gonna talk about it. Went to for the parties. That's why I just brought up the Charlie Sheen shit. I said what this nigga. nigga was, talking about, that's like, why I just said Charlie Sheen was fucking hella bitches, bitches and giving bitches HIV. Either. Like that shit. Weird. You think that yo? You think that white man wasn't fucking them women in that house? Hell yeah. You really, you really don't believe that, bro? So you telling me it should be a law that says you can only have sex with one woman, you can only be involved in a relationship with one woman. You, I, 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 I'm, I'm confused, bro. No wait. What I'm saying is with the sex trafficking shit, that's a little murky. I feel like that's it's a lot of gray area in that shit. So I don't necessarily well, believe that. Trafficking. But the but the the drugging and roofing and dousing of women, oh I believe that shit. Cause when when you got artists bro, in your label you me, and niggas that's around you in the nineties saying that you had certain bottles that you told everybody not to drink and it's still fruition today, you still got niggas I saying the it. same shit. You roofing right, listen, bro. You go to some of these parties, they give you a handshake that'll get you five years in the penitentiary. Right? I always wave them off. That comes with the partying. You really don't think niggas is having parties with hors d'oeuvres and cold cuts and champagne glasses. The people attending these parties are expected and saying the party is lit because of everything that comes with the parties. The male and female strippers and dancers. The sack of drugs they put in everybody's hands. You go to a T.I. spot, ghost, you know it. It'd be a big-ass motherfucking bowl full of E-pills. That's facts. Now, bitch, if you want to take them, take them. If not, cool. This is part of the party. So when a motherfucker pass, walking around with the tray and the plate, I had, that's on you if you want to indulge. I've never indulged. I ain't never even drunk a glass of champagne in the motherfucker. Shit, I don't even go in the house. I keep it backyard after 45 minutes to an hour, we out because it's no longer our party. So you telling me because a female chose to get high, 
so she can enjoy yourself. Some of you women know, y'all say it. Y'all get off cocaine, y'all get horny, y'all want to fuck, y'all get off E. Niggas is putting E pills in motherfuckers' asses and all kind of shit. They with it. So you telling me, because a grown-ass woman chose to indulge in the fun, Hey, we having the skinny dipping in the big pool. Don't come up there unless you naked. He manipulating. Yo, this is the naked pool. It's no, no more different than going to fucking Jamaica to fucking heatnism in the grill somewhere where everybody walk around naked, elevator, lobby, beach, everybody naked. Hey, this is the understanding. Everybody grown. So you telling me, he wrong for that? Is it against the law? Definitely against the law to have the drugs. But y'all not finna get me talking about what the nigga wrong for doing by having a party that motherfuckers got dressed, got their hair done, got their hair cut, when they spent five, ten thousand they motherfucking fit, got their fucking black car out there, and they did all this for the excitement of the party. And now the nigga wrong. Y'all gotta look at this shit like this this the perfect example of this shit, right? When somebody do something to you, say a nigga slap you or some shit, you want to fight the nigga back, right? You're going to hit the nigga back unless you a bitch, right? This company that Diddy went against is worth $82 billion, yeah, that was bro. Triggered. That's how they fight back, bro. No, they he, he sued them niggas talking about they racist and all this shit. This is their slap back, bro. This is how them type of companies slap back. When you fighting against a company that's worth billions of dollars, bro, they don't catch you in the street and Diddy punch got you, bro. They fight you a different way, bro. He violated his handler. He got too cocky. They were ready to move him out the way. He violated his handler. All of them got handlers. Every last one of them got a handler. Right? So, in a motherfucking day, motherfuckers ain't finna come telling me, oh, he wrong. He got all the bitches. Oh, look at the parties he had. Listen, whack go. What's happening? I get there by 11 30, 12. Boom. 12 30 to 1 o'clock. See the, the thing shifting, my nigga. I'm out. I got this nigga number lining up to meet this nigga at his office next week. I'm out. Whack never goes in the house. Ain't happening because I know what that is. I never received that handshake because I know what that is. It ain't happening. So, motherfuckers go to that party to party. Is it against the law to distribute the drugs at the party? Yes, it is. But don't go to telling me, oh, this thing is a sex trafficker. He's a get the fuck out of here, bro. That's just like you niggas going to a party, nigga. And the niggas got the, the weed. Got the weed in the drink. If half you niggas parties y'all went to, and we gonna act like y'all niggas don't do hard drugs at y'all party. You niggas popping shit, tooting shit. All kind of shit. But let's just keep it weed and drink. Right? Niggas go to the party, the music's there. Right? The weed there. The drink there. The women there. The niggas over there in the corner with the dice game. Alright? A few bitches in there selling pussy, sucking some dick on the side of the house in the bathroom. My nigga, let's stop. What the? This ain't church, nigga. And they partying in the church too, behind the scenes. What are we talking about? You saying a nigga's wrong for being a boss nigga, a nigga that women are attracted to for whatever reason, and entertaining people that are voluntarily pulling up to be entertained? They're coming to over there. You telling me he jumping out, snatching motherfuckers, kidnapping motherfuckers, and then he got these uh, secluded parties behind the scenes? Come on, bro. Rod, come on, bro. You was with him nine months doing the album. He grabbed your nuts when? He probably did. Mighty did grope you. But you came back the next day, went bowling. You said you came back the next day, went to the studio. You jumped on the jet with him, went to the Bahamas. Right? Okay, so this is a bitch. What's up, Wack? I want to fuck with you. I'm fucking with you. Okay, cool. Beat this pussy up, nigga. Beat this pussy. Hit this pussy. Hit this pussy. Next day. Um, I'm coming out. You can't come through. My baby mama coming. What? My baby mama coming through. When I'm going to see you, I don't know, probably a couple weeks. I'll holler at you. I'll look up four days later. He raped me. I went to the thing and got a rape kid. His pubic hairs. You can show I was swollen. Bro, what we talking about? That's right. That nigga didn't run out the house and the neighbors saw they seen him. Said they seen the nigga running down the street. They asked you what was going on. 
because you didn't get paid for doing the other work okay now he he what he groped me he groped you well what you do when he groped you because when the nigga did he told aunt Chris Brown uh, manager hey playboy won't you take your shirt off man at the pool party come out that shirt and aunt said man I'll beat your motherfucking ass don't play with me like that Diddy got the fuck away from him then I asked him to take his shirt off ever again so Lil Rod the man what did you do when he groped you was you involved in the fight and then the security roughed you up you know what he did they, he took his shirt off after that Nigga, and came back the next day, the next day, and then fucked the strippers they brought him. Drunk the liquor that was there, and kept making music. So, I'm going to let KS, I'm going to let you have it. Really think about what you saying, bro. This a grown-ass man. This ain't no motherfucking teenager, bro. Grown-ass man. He groped me, and I came back the next day. He groped me, and I got on the plane to go to the red carpet event with him. He groped me, and I fucked some strippers he brought over there. He groped me, and we went to live and party together. What we talking about, bro, for real? Did somebody tell me what we talking about? What we talking about? You know me, I call a nigga out on this shit, but goddamn. The fuck are we talking about? I definitely think Z, uh, Didi Zesty, he just a freak. He just like the ain't, not, ain't, ain't nothing, nothing like, wrong no, with I, that I, man. No, no, I ain't saying nothing wrong with it. No, no, I ain't saying nothing wrong with it. That's saying, who he I'm, is. That's who he no, is. No, 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 no. I'm not saying nothing wrong with it. I'm saying they, the shit that they trying to add to it is weird. Like they trying to make Young Miami be a motherfucking drug dealer and all kind of weird ass shit. That shit weird. But see, what it is is a lot of shit people do. That's regular basic shit, right? They could categorize it as that because when it comes to the law, it reads as that. Not to say that's what she was doing, but if they can prove that, yo, you jumped on the plane with it and this, 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 that, that's what they're going to put on you. Right? They're going to move it that way. They paint their picture because did he probably, you know, somebody around there. It's saying what they saying, but all this other shit, this nigga sex trafficking and all this shit, man, they got the right to fuck as many women that want to fuck him. Anybody on the flow disagree? No, 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 wait, I agree with you with that and even a little Rob shit, because I even said, like, it was weird, like, how the nigga right. keep groping you, you getting drugged, you say you wake up, your anus hurt, no diddy, and... And you like still going back, you still going on. You yeah, there, you ain't even leaving. Yeah, yeah, but when he don't pay the nigga, at the end of it, because if you read the whole lawsuit, when he don't pay him, oh, you don't want to see then the nigga trip. You're fucking nigga me trip. for the last two weeks. What? You with your baby mama? Watch this. That's Lil Rod in male form. That's Lil Rod in male form, bro. But you don't think two I, things could be true? You don't think he could have been down for the bullshit, but also seen some illegal shit that kind of goes back to these lawsuits. If you down for the kinda... bullshit, that means you consensual, right? Yeah. That means he ain't did nothing wrong, right? Don't yeah, come talk it, to me about well, no illegal drugs in the entertainment business, bro. I'm just don't come saying. talk to me about no illegal drugs in the club scene, bro. Don't come talk to me about illegal drugs in the projects, bro. That come with it, homie. Like, what we talking about? Right, but did he know that too? So if you know what you doing and you know you got to pass the not paying niggas, why not pay these people to go? Even the Cassie shit, why not pay her before she even put a lawsuit out? For one, before one, he felt like he didn't have no reason to. We got blackmail. But whack, you just said he keep drugs around. If you know this and you know you the party party man, if I'm trying to keep heat off of me, why not just pay these people to go away? Bro, he keep drugs around for the people that's doing the drugs with him, even them. So listen, listen, you giving a party, you keep drugs around. Whack pulling up, go, we pulling up, nigga. We tooting the cocaine, popping the pill. Good look it out, nigga. We ain't paying for this shit. You you spend 20000 a party to entertain your partners on drugs. Is you thinking that we finna go foul on you for having drugs? Come on, bro. I got one more question real quick, and then I'm going to read up on this. What are you talking about? Bro, KS, for real, are you thinking... 
we all finna go, the niggas is using your drugs. Good looking out, nigga, you be giving a party. You think we gonna go foul on you, bro, for having drugs? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. But hey, if I get if I get wind of it, I either gotta get your ass out the way, or I gotta pay you. I can't just sit back like, well, I'm Diddy, ain't nobody gonna believe this shit. No, we let it stack up. What the fuck are they talking about? It just looked bad when he paid her. Like when the when the news of the lawsuit come out and within 24 hours you fucking pay her. He only that paid just her. looked bad. I told y'all he was gonna pay her. I told all y'all. I said that nigga gonna pay. I know the situation. I know her. She didn't mean fuck me. She was blackmailing the nigga. The only reason why he paid, cause he's scared to come out the closet, bro. Only reason why he paid. He knows she got all the niggas mm. he didn't fuck with. If he wasn't scared to come out the closet, I told him. I said, bro, I called I said, yo. Tell that nigga just come out the closet and tell him they block about him, bro, that he part of the community. He be all right. He ain't ready to do that. Damn. That nigga was willing to pay to not come out the closet. That's crazy. So do you, so goes, do you think that's why, well, do you think that's why, like, right, all this shit going on with Didi, do y'all feel like QC about to, like, kind of, like, back away? Because I see young um, JT doing her solo shit. She kind of been distancing her. Yo, herself. Mimi, before you say that, pay attention. Okay. okay. I've been called that dog. He don't even give a nine fuck about music ago. like that no more. I called that dog nine months ago. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. Was he at QC last party? I've mm -hmm. been called that dog. That's my brother. I've been called that dog. Pay attention. Ain't no bout to. Pay attention. Go back in the last nine months and tell me what you Yeah, mean. I've been, I've been, I've noticed how they like kind of like being kind of like, like pushing her out like a little but bit. They, like they, they sold QC though. So like in no, the last couple of months, they really shit. been. Didn't QC they sell they still run QC, nigga? Is it a partnership? Like, how does that work, Wack? Like, I'm not understanding. Cause I seen a reporter saying the company was so they had pictures with the white dudes, they taking a the picture together. How does that work? Uh, they did a the right move. They sold for 300 million. You know what they would have got right now if they would have sold it? Shit, probably a hundred, not even. 80 million. Yeah. Damn. It was time to go. So do and they still what? have any they type of old, They still got them some ownership. They get paid salary. All their travels covered. And they can still sign and do what the fuck they want to do. Oh, okay. That was smart. And it's and I ain't gonna say like I see like the dude that that she was signed to. He always tried to tell Carisha like about the nigga she get like you know she was with the one nigga and he ain't really like that. So then she get with Diddy's like she he always try to keep her from getting with these niggas who can basically fuck her career. Up, but she just you know get involved with them anyway. But you could tell he be on her ass about that. Well, he was on her ass about that. Like the nigga she be talk, fucking with and shit. Now she now I feel like they finna drop her ass from the label. Like she finna. Be oh, that ain't gonna happen. You don't think so? Like that. No, nah, they ain't have. They gonna stay in the paint with you. That nigga P is street nigga. And shit, you act like if they dropped her, they every turn label wouldn't on. be knocking in no, her door. No, I know. I'm just her. saying. It seems like her and JT. He ain't turning his back on nobody. He ain't gonna happen. It seems like her and JT kind of like then, then like then not like they used to be. I don't know. It seems like ever since that shit happened with Diddy, she just been distancing herself. That ain't gonna happen. Them niggas ain't turning their back on nobody. It ain't gonna happen. I hope not. I fuck with Young Miami, man. I, I hate she involved in this shit, bro. She don't, yeah, nah, hey, he, she, he don't, he don't rock like that. He still got artists signing him right now that don't make no money for the label like that. He still look out for, still take care okay, of Okay, that's what's up. I seen her on the yacht twerking. She don't even seem like she bothered by shit. Like, she on the yacht right now having the time of her life. Like, so it's like she, she still doing her shit, but it's like they trying to drag her into all this bullshit. Like, that shit weird. But KS, you got, you know, you, I be listening to your opinion though. So it's like, you know, I, I hear what you're saying though, bro. No. It's some sad shit right here. KS just find that innocent black man guilty. He ain't even been to court yet. This shit yeah, crazy. you see, he got an innocent black man on his PTR right now. You see, he be going, see, KS? That's he did, ain't did nothing to nobody. And he, he, he just, he just, he just, he just, KS worse than the KKK, man. Yeah, that hey, one, KS, he, he, he want to see our <laughs> Kelly down. He want to see Ed Black Bill Man Cosby, down. That's crazy. Yep. Jacquees. KS mad My right nigga. now. He like, damn, why they let me a Cosby out? I didn't do it. If he would have stopped having the Diddy parties, no Diddy, and stopped drugging motherfuckers allegedly, then we would never damn, be here. You know what <laughs> what Mark Curry said that the champagne bottles was laced. Do you think they knew that? If it's two sections of champagne bottles, Wait, I'm just gonna that? pick up a bottle to drink. Mark Curry Wait, said that. Who? Mark Curry. He was signing a bad boy. 
Okay, Mark Curry said it was lace, right? Yeah, Gene Dill said the same thing. He said that they was told. Gene Dill, listen, bro. Gene Dill talking out of names. <laughs> Gene Dill is security. <laughs> Gene Dill is security, bro. It's a lot of shit we do that our security don't know we do. Nigga, if I'm finna move some shit around, your wax such stuff's finna pop up. Get my baby mama to the other hotel. Had the other nigga take her over there so we ain't got to worry about him running his mouth getting mad one day and then bring old girl up. Nigga, you security do what the fuck we tell him to do. Go stand your ass in, a, in the motherfucking parking lot. All right, y'all. That's the end of the video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. How do y'all feel about this conversation? Wack 100 is defending P. Diddy against all these allegations. He went pretty hard against this guy. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure y'all give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notification bell on so you know when I drop the latest videos. Peace.